Okay, so we're going to get started with chapter 22. Chapter 22 goes over what we call obstructive pulmonary disorders. <coughs> Now, let me ask you this question. When you think of something obstructive, what do you think of? In the way. In the way, okay. So in the way, as far as the respiratory tract track is concerned, what is in the way? Or what is, what is the issue here with obstructive pulmonary disorders? What do you think is the issue? They can't breathe. They can't breathe or there's not proper ventilation or airflow, okay, that's going to get through the respiratory tract. So please keep in mind that with these disorders, we are talking about something that is obstructing the airway, whether it's mucus, whether it's a constriction, whether it's fluid, okay, mucus, whatever it may be, but something is obstructing that airway where these people do not have proper ventilation, okay? <clears throat> now, before I get into... Does everyone have the proper slides they need? Now, just to let you know, with this chapter, it has, is it going? Yeah. Okay. This chapter, um, well, what I'm covering with this chapter is 70 slides. Those 70 slides are only covering four diseases, okay? So it's a lot of information. Um, it really breaks down the pathophysiology of these diseases very well, um, which it is, it's a good thing. Um, but I do need you to make sure that you please understand this information with this chapter, even if you need to go to your book and read the chapter as far as those four diseases are concerned. Now, what I want to go over with you is when we talk about COPD, COPD is considered to be chronic, obstructive, pulmonary, disorders, okay, and then under this category of COPD, they do include asthma under this category, although uh, sometimes in some books they just consider bronchitis and eczema, but uh, asthma can also fall under this category as well. So let's just put asthma here, we're going to say chronic bronchitis. Now the other one that we'll be going over today is also acute bronchitis, but that does not fall under this category. Acute bronchitis is something different. Okay, so it's not considered a chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. Okay, now, again as we talked about before, oh, come on in. Ah. Oh, you want to? Oh. Yeah, okay. As we talked about before, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders, keep in mind that anything that's obstructive, we're talking about something that's obstructing the airway. So what's going to happen here is that there will be obviously a problem with the air, the amount of air that's in the atmospheric pressure as, in, as opposed to the amount of air that's inside the lungs. So please keep in mind that this obstruction conditions in the wall of the lumen. It also results from increasing pressure around the outside of the airway of the lumen and also obstruction of the airway lumen itself. So what that means is that, as I told you before, just keep in mind these, things, these uh, to say four things. Mucus, any type of spasm, constriction, or fluid. So if you want to jot down mucus, constriction, spasm, or fluid. So anything that will be obstructing the airway. Now, I was going to go right into asthma. I'm recording, so if you want me to stop. Okay, let's just stop that. Pause for a second.